how to install kali linux 2020.3 in virtual box with full screen like this so let's start first go to this link link is in the description box below and you must download only any one of these two images because these iso images are officially recommended and then go to this link and you need to click on windows host to download virtual box for windows and install it in your computer now right click task bar and click on task manager go to performance tab and make sure that virtualization is enabled if this is disabled then you need to enable this in your bios now right click virtual box and click on run as administrator click on yes click on new first give it a name kali linux then select type linux then select version linux 2.6/3.x/4.x select 64 bit if you have downloaded 64 bit kali linux iso image select 32 bit if you have downloaded 32 bit kali linux iso image select appropriate option and click on next now you need to allocate 50 percentage of total memory available in your computer just drag the slider 50 percentage of 8192 mb is 4096 mb click on next select create virtual hard disk now and click on create select vdi and click on next select dynamically allocated and click on next in this box type 50 gb and click on create now click on settings and go to advanced tab change shared clipboard to bidirectional and change drag and drop to bidirectional then go to system and go to processor tab now move this slider till green zone don't move this into red zone move this until green zone then go to display and move the video memory slider to maximum limit click on okay now under storage click on optical drive empty and click on choose a disk file select the kali linux iso image and click on open click on start now select graphical install and hit enter double click your language double click your location double click your keyboard layout no need to change host name just click on continue no need to change this either just click on continue type a username and make sure you remember this and click on continue just click on continue type in a password type it again and make sure these two match and click on continue select guided use entire disk and click on continue just click on continue select separate home partition and click on continue select finish partitioning and write changes to disk and click on continue select yes and click on continue Let's see how much time it takes for the installation to complete. 
I'm going to fast forward this. No need to change this. Just click on continue. So it took me about 17 minutes for this particular step to complete. Now select yes and click on continue. Select slash dev slash sda and click on continue. Installation is now complete. Click on continue. Virtual box will automatically restart. Type in your username and your password and click on login. Now maximize the window and Kali Linux will automatically adjust itself and you will get full screen like this. Let's install VirtualBox guest additions. Go to devices and click on insert guest additions CD image. Go inside this and select all the files and folders present inside it and copy it. Now right click desktop and click on create folder. Name it vbox and click on create. Go inside the folder and paste the copied files. Now right click inside this folder and click on open terminal here. Type ls and hit enter. Then type sudo space chmod space 777 space. Now select and copy exactly this file name. Just copy it and paste it over here and hit enter. Type in your password and hit enter. Now type sudo space dot forward slash. Again paste the copied file name and hit enter. Now type yes and hit enter. Close the terminal and restart Kali Linux. We are going to enable file sharing now. Type in your username and your password and login. Again go to devices, go to shared folders and click on shared folder settings. Now click on machine folders and click on this button. Click on this drop down and click on other. Select the drive or folder which you want to share and click on select folder. Check auto mount. Check make permanent. Click on OK. Click on OK again. Now again open up terminal. Type sudo space add user space dollar symbol user in uppercase space vbox sf and hit enter type in your password and hit enter now close the terminal and once again restart Kali Linux type in your username and your password and login Now go to file system and on the left side under devices you will see your shared folder and you will find your files inside it. So this is how you can install Kali Linux 2020.3 in VirtualBox. That's it guys. Thanks for watching. If you find this video helpful then please do consider subscribing to our channel. Bye.